Hi y'all, my name is Sophia and I'm a student at San Diego State University. I'm a Planned Parenthood patient and a Planned Parenthood volunteer. Today I'm going to talk to you about dental dams, which are a barrier for oral sex. Not everyone knows about them or uses them, but I'm going to introduce them to you today and they can be a great tool in your safer sex arsenal. Dental dams are for oral sex, so it could be oral sex on genitals or oral sex on an anus. And you just open it like a little Ziploc bag. Inside is the dental dam. This is vanilla flavor. Of course, you want to check the expiration date on the reverse to make sure that it's not expired. This one is not expiring until February of 2020. Inside the package, you have a folded sheet of latex. So of course, if you have a latex allergy, this is not the kind that you'd want to use. And it does smell like vanilla. It's a pretty large sheet, so there's definitely room. And you just pull it across the surface that you're going to be performing oral sex on. You can kind of let it rest there or use your hands to hold it if it's moving around. You can use lubricant with dental dams or you can use dental dams alone. Most people recommend using lubricant and if your dental dam is unflavored, you could add a flavored lube or use an unflavored lube. And this is a great way to reduce the risk of contracting an STI through oral to genital or oral to anal sex. Though it is less likely to transmit STIs and HIV through oral sex, it's still possible, especially if you're vulnerable because you have gum or mouth disease. Uh, dental dams can be a really great way to keep you safer and keep your partner safer as well. It protects against diseases like gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, and HIV, as well as herpes. Not everyone's aware that you can actually get STIs through oral sex as well. Though it is a lower rate of transmission than penetrative sex, it's still possible, so dental dams are a great way to keep you safer and keep your partner safer.